spirulina. We're gonna talk about what is it, where is it from, why you prefer to have spirulina over cleanses and juice detoxes, and then uses. We had a lot to do in this video. Let's get started. Hey, wellness warriors, this is Sarah, Live Free Warrior. Welcome back to another Truthful Tuesday, uncovering the truth behind foods because you deserve to know. Today's topic, the superfood of the sea, spirulina, spirulina, spirulina. Spirulina was one of the first superfoods I started to incorporate into my lifestyle, not a diet. Spirulina, the superfood of the sea. Why does it get that name? Well, it grows naturally in lakes, ponds, and the ocean, right? It's a seaweed that gives it that blue-green algae look to it. How rich and dark in color spirulina is. You do not wanna get this on your white clothing, kids, myself included. It is important to note that the quality of the spirulina you get, that it's pure, is very important, like the one that you get from Healthy Truth. It is sourced from, because it's from the oceans, right? It's pulling from the environment. And there are a lot of toxins, unfortunately, that go into our seas and oceans. So you wanna make sure that it's from a clean source. Also, being honest, it's from the ocean. And sometimes it can taste a little fishy. Now, the one that I get from Healthy Truth, it doesn't taste like fish. That's why I'm a huge fan of using their form of spirulina, the quality and the taste. Spirulina is a high source of protein, vegan protein. You get about three grams for each teaspoon. It's an incredible source as an alkaline food. Now, if you don't know a lot about alkalinization of the blood, uh, balancing with acidity, think of a pool. You, do you ever have a pool when I did? And we had to test it and make sure that the chlorine level and the pH level was balanced. Well, the same goes for your body. You wanna have anywhere from 7.35 to 7.45 alkalinity in the body. That's a whole nother topic for another video, so we're not gonna go there today. When you're having acidic foods, the superfood of spirulina is super high up on the alkaline level, so it helps to balance out, neutralize, right? It also helps to clean out your system naturally, so you don't need those juice cleanses. Spirulina also helps to detox any heavy metals that are within your blood. I, as you know, am a Hodgkin's lymphoma survivor of cancer, so for me, I wish I knew about spirulina back then. 15 years ago, I would have been consuming that at every dish to clean and cleanse out my blood. There's a lot of heavy metals and toxins. Even if you're not going through cancer treatment, we encounter heavy metals all day long, just as human beings. And this is a fun fact about spirulina. It was a key source of protein for the Aztecs for over 5,000 years throughout Mexico. Now it's tacos, carnitas, Javi, que mas? The other keys are frijoles. What else in Mexico is a primary source? Chapolinas, we're not gonna go there what those are. Some of the easiest ways to use spirulina is to mix it into a beverage. So if you can just put it into water or a little splash of coconut water first thing in the morning. That's one of my favorite ways to consume it as a beverage. It has a little bit of sweetness, energizes me right away, right? But it also doesn't have a really funny taste. Another option, add some orange or pineapple juice. Make sure it's fresh squeezed and it's nothing fake from concentrate. Easy ways, toss spirulina into your soups, into sauces. Now the way that I like to use it inside dressings, mix it up with a vinegar, an oil, whatever you want, and then pour it on top of a salad. You can also use just the vinegar, mix it in with, uh, be it a guacamole or a hummus, those are easy ways. Sprinkle in on top of a tuna, mix that up. You can also add it to your eggs, like a little spirulina scramble. Same goes for tofu, you can mix it in with the tofu as you're making a scramble. Your typical smoothie, of course you can toss that in. And then one last final way, mix it in with some protein balls. Protein powder, add some chia seeds, add nuts, dates, spirulina. Make sure you wear gloves for that because that'll make quite a mess. That wraps up spirulina, the superfood of the sea. I would love to hear your comments on this one, warriors. What do you use spirulina for? Do you like the taste of it? Maybe you don't like. I might have some suggestions for you to add it to your lifestyle, not a diet that'll make it a little more palatable and actually enjoyable. Stay tuned for another Truthful Tuesday. My name is Sarah, Live Free Warrior. Cue the intro. Ah.
<laughs> we've done a lot of these recipes. Uh, we can add some links. I don't know if we've done those. <laughs>